A top Twin Cities imam who prosecutors accused of preaching jihad is out as a legal advisor to one of five young Minnesota terrorist suspects. The judge also granted an attorney's request to withdraw from the case. The developments unfolded in federal court today at a hearing for five young terror suspects accused of trying to join ISIS. They go on trial in just five weeks. Esme Murphy was in court today. Esme, I know there are some other allegations and concerns surrounding this imam as well. Well, there definitely are concerns, Frank. An affidavit says two of the five scheduled to go to trial wanted to change their pleas from not guilty to guilty. The affidavit by a prominent Twin Cities attorney suggests that the imam influenced them not to do that. The affidavit filed by attorney John Hopeman says Adnan Farah and Hamza Ahmed told Hopeman's client they were planning to change their pleas from not guilty to guilty. The Hopeman affidavit says Sheikh Hassan Jami contacted the families of the young men to tell them not to change their pleas. Adnan Farah and Hamza Ahmed never did plead guilty. Much is at stake, a guilty plea would have meant a maximum of 15 years in prison. Now they face a possible life sentence if convicted. The Sheikh is also known as Imam Hassan Mahmoud and runs the Dawa Center on University Avenue in St. Paul. He declined to comment after the hearing, but prosecutors say in a secret recording last April, the Imam can be heard preaching jihad and explaining how to pray on the battlefield. After the hearing, community leaders spoke to reporters voicing strong support for the imam and saying the allegations against him are not credible. He's a father, he's a good imam, and the community stand with him today. But the imam and the attorney he works for are now out as part of the defense team for Mohammed Farah, just weeks before the case goes to trial, something that worries Farah's mother. It's a this situation, it's a very, very hard situation. Mohammed Farah's remaining attorney says if need be, he will ask for help. I'll make sure that we're ready. Um, if I need more time, I will ask for more time. And I think. Now, Judge Michael Davis made it clear to all the defendants that if they have any concerns about who is representing them or if they are receiving any outside pressures, they can contact him directly and voice their concerns. And again, all this comes as these young defendants are facing life terms as they go to trial next month. Yeah, certainly a lot on the line. Absolutely. All right, Esme, thank you.